Hello, my name is Connor Kenny. I'm 27 years old. Um, I'm a an ex professional uh, rugby player. Uh, still quite strange to say that, but I'm starting this uh, channel to for anyone who wants insights into what it's like to lose your your um, your dream your dream job for well your dream in general it wasn't a really a job but your dream because of injury so I've had two neck operations in the space of a year and a half uh, one at the back and one at the front you can kind of see it there with the shadow so I'm going to be documenting my uh, recovery process with that um, just a little insight back into myself. I started playing rugby when I was eight. I come from, uh, in Ireland we are quite big with uh, Gaelic football. My family, the Kenny family, and are quite huge into GEA. I was never good at it. I was quite the uh, chubby little kid, so I wasn't too fast for the sport or fit in general for long distance running. And my parents put me into rugby in a club called West Offaly Lions in a small village in Fraban Offaly, centre of Ireland. So I started playing there for a few years, uh, made loads of um, friends at the time. Um, I was quite a shy child, introverted, so I started to open up and um, played a bit in school. Uh, in the meantime, when I started hitting uh, 15, 14, 15, 16, I got brought into uh, what's called a province. There's four provinces in Ireland. There's uh, uh, Ulster, Munster, Connacht and Leinster. Um, I started to play for, I started to get some uh, training sessions from the underage group of Connacht, um, starting at I think I was 14, I think I started with the under 16s. I was quite a big child when I was younger. Did 16s for uh, a year or two, I think I can't exactly remember. And in the meantime, I was playing for the school and uh, not so much the club anymore because schooling had taken up my, my time. So at the weekend ends and or any time you would have off is when the Connacht Coaches would text you to come up and do training camps up in a place called Galway on the west of Ireland. So um, I moved to a school called uh, Garby College in Ballinslow to further my rugby knowledge. Um, that school itself is quite a historical school for rugby. So I moved there with a, with a fellow friend back in the day. Um, and then I kind of kicked off really going into the Connacht Academy. Um, I did sub academy for a year and then I did three years of academy. And unfortunately, I had many injuries, constant injuries in the academy. And luckily, I got myself fit just before the coming end of the coming end of my academy uh, last year. My academy, and I. Got brought up to my first professional senior contract, which I was absolutely delighted for. Um, and yeah, that's when everything started really with how crazy life can get, I suppose. Um, one minute I was a kid playing rugby for fun, and the next thing I knew it, I was in with guys who were playing international rugby. and. Uh, jostling shoulders with them in the changing room and having nights out with them and you're just kind of like what's happening right now and yeah it was pretty pretty crazy at start I was definitely way immature looking back now and realizing how immature I was for it but it's kind of what happens when you get brought up in the middle of absolutely nowhere in Ireland in the field basically so I played underage in the academy for a bit then as well and uh in the meantime, when I was in the academy, I played under 18s, 19s and 20s with the uh, Irish teams. I played under 18 schools and I played under 19s. Had quite a bad head knock. 
uh, which ruled me out of the mo one the, the most of the last game of the nineteens and twenties as well. I had a few niggles. Played, still got to play a few games. Then uh, had a bit of a weird shoulder issue coming to the halfway point of the Six Nations in the under twenties. I. Got to the World Cup, we were in Manchester City. Um it's where we played in the where the soccer uh, team team are. Uh, it's, it's one of the stadiums there. And we were playing Wales for our first game, who bet us quite well in the Six Nations, if I can recall, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> but two minutes and fifty-eight seconds into that game, I go to tackle their um back row and I completely dislocate my shoulder in the first three minutes of the World Cup and that had abruptly ended my World Cup with the under-20s. Um, I suppose I will say if people do see this I, I suppose I will myself just go into more detail with stuff in the future this is just a all over the place type video um, if people want to watch this please comment <laughs> whatever you know the crack um well, under 19s i went through quite a bit in my my life well you're a kid so quite a bit but i don't know whatever you want to and it definitely affected me towards my rugby and that's a really really big thing that i'd say a lot of people get wrong is managing your life and rugby has to be different you can't manage it all at the one so your life is your life your rugby is your rugby you can't get them you can't bring your feelings from your life into your rugby and vice versa, which is an extremely hard thing to do. And I've only, up until probably two years ago, or even honestly six months, and now I'm unfortunately retired from rugby, that uh, it can take some people quite longer than the others to, to deal with it. So yeah, that's kind of a small bit about me. I, I'll go into more detail and maybe in a, in a future video. Um, the injury itself was pretty horrific. I'll talk um, more injuries in the past, but the reason why I'm starting this is because of the neck ones I had. I had the back done. I lost, had muscle wastage in my right arm. I couldn't do a push-up. I couldn't, I could barely lift a cup. I, my arm was basically a bone and I was pretty scared at that point um as you can imagine i was had all the stuff going through my head like my rugby rugby's over um etc you know all that stuff but then i i'm still not right to this day but i got back to where i could train not how i used to be able to train i'll admit i kind of suppressed that i i just didn't want to think about it because you can't think about not being your top self when you have to perform at such a high level, especially with, especially with a lot of other good players around you. Like you have to be on your A game twenty four seven. And I've got back at the end of that first year to play my first Premiership game for Newcastle Falcons. So yes, I've quite jumped ahead quite there, but I I was with Connacht for uh, a few years professionally, and then I moved to uh, Newcastle Falcons over in the UK, the northeast of England, in the Toon, amazing place. Um, but that same injury then had come back in what now to this date is five five weeks ago. I have been doing some bits myself but the reason I'm starting it now when I didn't start these videos back when I when this was all happening was because a friend of mine a mentor of mine as well two people said to me that I should document this whole process to um because it has quite have it's had a quite an impact on my in my uh character itself my life of my uh friends my family especially my close family, my parents and uh, my girlfriend, Rebecca. Um, I didn't realize how much of a toll it takes on, takes on them. <coughs> um, yeah. Uh, 
I don't know where to go. I don't want to do too long a video because I know people's uh, attention spans aren't that fucking long anymore. Probably can't curse, but it's been put up until it gets. I get told by YouTube not to. Uh, recovery goals is because I'm not playing rugby. I'm going to be trying to drop big loads of weight. I don't need my uh, most of my weight anymore, so dropping. I usually weigh around about 128 kilos. I'm quite a naturally strong individual, so strength is my worry for like bottom half of my legs, but obviously with my two arms because of the necks, I'm gonna have to build strength, but it's mostly dropping, uh, dropping a lot of body mass and becoming quite lean and, and um, just having longevity, longevity in my life. Being heavy doesn't help with uh, longevity for old age and on your body and stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna, uh, uh, it's more of a raising awareness of different types of injuries, uh, injuries, sorry, um, and how they can affect some people. And um, cause I have views of my friends who've uh, went through some career ending injuries and some friends who had potential career injuries that could could have retired and didn't and are still playing rugby and it not going so well for them and some who have gone back at not full potential and are still having a successful career at rugby so um if people do see this let me know what you kind of want to start off with but i'll probably get a video out once a week and um yeah i just for future content i suppose I've been all over the place here. I'm very sorry if you're still watching. You've no how idea how much this means to me because I'm going to go into more detail on just rugby because when I go to my everyday life, I'm gonna you'll see a lot. It's it's going to be quite interesting. There's a lot in the in the pipeline for me, my partner at the moment. We're in the UK at the moment. We're going to be moving home for a bit, but uh, I'll be documenting a lot of other stuff than rugby and rugby life. It'll be business life as well. So if you want to see that as well, I'll happily discuss. So yeah, I just want to end this video with, I'm sorry it was all over the place, but I'm extremely positive with how I've been so far. I've, I'm one, this is only my, this is going to be my third day, my third gym session um, since my operation. Um, I've been doing a few bits at home, but I'm excited with everything. I'm excited for people to see this video. Make fun of me if you want to. I don't care. Pff, I've gone over all that. Um, I just want to help people who are in professional sport or who aren't. And I've got injuries in any other type of, even just work in general. And they might have lost their jobs and how to deal with stuff. Because I've had a lot of soul searching recently with not working and being in the house by myself as my partner works away and there's no one else here. I've not that many friends up in Newcastle, unfortunately. Um, as I said, I'm quite an introvert, so I quite hard to make friends, but whatever. So yeah, I'll hopefully that wasn't too depressing for some people. But if you're still watching, please give us a like, subscribe, comment anything, tell me how bad the quality of the sound is, and etc. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how this journey goes. Who knows what could happen in five years time or where we could be. Cheers.